This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy. I'm doing a Big Y block tree and matching reviews today, and I thought I'd just keep it straight to the slides this time. I get questions all the time related to Y DNA, uh, how they match, or what matches look like. This is a quick review of my personal data and, and a little bit for my father's and another project that I have in the family as well. Now, when I bring up Family Tree DNA, which is the one that I use, you notice that I have autosomal DNA, mitochondrial DNA, and I have both the regular marker set up to 111, and I also have the big Y DNA testing. When I go in there and log in, I want to go into and show you information related to the block tree and the big Y matching. So you go to the, re, the results, you click on the big Y. In this case, if you have a big Y test, I'm gonna show you what they look like. And I pl click the block tree. When I get to the block tree, now I have blocked out or, or hidden the names of those matches, but this is my personal branching line and how we fall together. Now, my father and I, which is in this block, and this is the main one I'll focus on here. This is my father and I's personal block, and we have our own defined terminal SNP, FTA47557. This represents my personal family line, my particular branch of the personal family line. And the next one up above this is the FT294408. Now, with this said, this is as we do, as we know it today, this particular uh, terminal SNP or this particular branch of the Y tree represents the McCain line or my personal family line, and it represents our no, earliest known ancestor. Now, the next step up above this, however, has three different SNPs in it. it this SNP block here has three different SNPs in it, and there's another gentleman here that it has his own private uh, variants of four. Now, as everything as we've defined it so far, this particular individual does not know uh, anything about his history, but we do know this much. This takes us back uh, about 1700 to 1750 is what this grouping takes us to. And then we step back further and further and further in this branching. So what you see here is if you have a lot of testers, and if you look at this, this tells you that we have two here, two, and this makes five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 total testers that have tested in this segment, okay? And that defines this particular branch of the haplo tree, and in this case, our branches of our family lineage. Now the next thing I want to show, now this is again, well defined just in a very finite area. This steps all the way up. If you look at the top of this page here, this is what a lot of men are, one of the most common ones in Europe, the RM269. It branches down each one of these line items here, this snip and snip blocks in cases, all the way down to this one right here. This is our defining uh, snip. It's L196, and for our particular project, this is very important for the uh, definition of our lineage one, okay? Now, when I step down into the next thing is, though, if you hit your matches, this is when you're gonna see a little more definition. You have these statements of average uh, private answer private SNPs listed here across the pages. So I'm just gonna go and show a quick representation of what it shows up to me. So I go to this uh, matches and go into this page. Again, this is my personal data. My matches, and if I look at this, I see that uh, the, there's a person that matches the very top and I have one private variant separate from that person. This is my father here. I have one different from him. And by going into the private variants, I show that same number again, which is mine. So if I were to have a son or if I had a son, this particular 
uh, snip would separate him from my father and most likely not have his own private variant. It's very much uh, random of when it occurs. Now, so again, let's go back to that page again a little bit further and say something that people are having issues with, and it's going to be right here. Non-matching variants. Automated list of names and private SNPs where you and your match have different results. Excluding no calls, the block tree shows curated summaries. So this just basically means that if you have a variant and a spot on the chromosome, the Y chromosome, that can be measured against another person and you don't have it, you have the expected, not a variant, then it's going to show up on this list. But if you have a no-call region on your Y-DNA, then it's not going to show up. Right here, if you have a no-call area, you won't see that in this list, even if you don't match that person there, because your region or that person's region did not actually show up. And then here's another one I want to point out, because there's been some discussions with several different people on this. Shared variants. This shows you the number of variants as of the date you matched that individual, okay? It is not updated. So some people have looked at this, including myself, and said, well, this person has more tested SNPs than this person has right here, like 900,000 versus 743,000. Well, in actuality, it's only the date it was matched. It does continue to change. This will continue to change, but this number will not. This stays here all based on when you match that individual. Now I'm going to go back to something else here because this is important. I mentioned what our family or my family's terminal SNP was. Well, the thing about mine is it's an FTA, which uh, has shown in our project that it was uh, manually analyzed. Well, we don't have what you would call the typical call uh, number here. We do not have a call here. Uh, at, automatically. This was done by a manual screen. So if you type in, try to type in our particular variant that we have, my father and I, it will not show up here. But on the analysis by Family Tree DNA, we do have one that's common to only my father and I and no one else that's in the test database. So not always will your terminal SNP if especially if it's got like an additional A or possibly even a B beside it, it's been analyzed manually and will not show up in the actual listings. Another point here I wanted to show is this is coming from my father's perspective. And what I was saying earlier is he actually has an area that matches a little differently than um, I do. I have a region that doesn't necessarily read and his does. So a few of these people here, which match him the same as me, have a few different numbers here, and it's only because that they and he both uh, show the region, and in his case, to them, they have a different number than he does. And I decided to go into the private variant here for my father, and he does not show this private variant, the one that I have a few pages back. Let's step back a couple here. If you look right here, I have this one. He does not. Okay. And going back into the same thing I said a minute ago, this is my father's test. And he also, when I type in the FTA, does not have the particular variant uh, that we have as our shared one in our tree. However, we do have it for us. And I'll step back real quickly here and show you that. So my father and I have this FTA 47557. That is our uh, one in our branch particularly. However, when you look it up, it does not show up because it did have a manual read. Now, my particular tree, my particular uh, branch is an R, and it's well-defined. This is a less developed big Y tree and I'm going to do a quick review. This is another family member, and they do not have any big Y matches, okay? Uh, they have a, they're in a J, and when you look at this, 
Then the next thing you do, they're J Y twelve zero zero seven. You see all this definition of others over here, even though there's not a lot of testers, there's some definition here. Well, in this particular case, this tester, who is, a, again, a family member on another branch, uh, another male line, uh, only has himself and the another tester that show up with this terminal SNP that he has, and they have two variants that allows them, aligns them together. But if you look at this number, they have, on average, between the two of them, 14 private variants, which means this is so far back in history, you're not going to find um, the common ancestor here. However, interestingly enough, you have another person that shows up as a match here, and this person matches beyond what the this chart will show as a match, but still close enough for the variant tracker on the block to show that this individual is a match. If I were to show you back onto his 67, this individual actually shows up. So that was the presentation today uh, for the Big Y 700 block tree matching and review. I hope that you found this informative. Please click the subscribe button down in the lower left hand corner. And don't forget the bell notification so you can get notified when I post new videos. And there's a couple of videos at the top of the screen that may help you.